The Apple Watch has made technology personal again. This is a product carefully crafted to provide an intimate experience with your watch. The beautiful stainless steel protects the pristine sapphire crystal display. The colors are bright and vivid, providing the user with an experience like no other smartwatch. The Apple Watch is the first of its kind. It's more than just an extension of your iPhone. It's an extension of yourself. Dominic, what the hell are you doing? Huh? What's going on guys? I'm Dominic Jourdain. This is Dom J Does Tech. I hope you guys enjoyed that little teaser video I made for you. It's pretty funny, right? Well, anyway, let's get into this Apple Watch. So the Apple Watch comes in three different versions. The Apple Watch Sport starting at $349.99. The Apple Watch starting at $549.99 and the Apple Watch Edition which starts at $10,000 which I would suggest that you don't buy it. If it was a choice between the Apple Watch and this $2,000 Movado, I would choose the Apple Watch every single time. Why? Because I can get the time and my email. The Apple Watch is like no other smartwatch. When people see it on my wrist, they'll know right away this is the Apple Watch. So I purchased the stainless steel Apple Watch with the sapphire crystal display. On one side of the watch, you have a digital crown button that doubles as a scroll wheel. Next to it, you have a secondary button which can be used to turn the watch on and off and bring up your favorites list and acts as Apple Pay. On the other side of the watch, there's a receiver and a tiny microphone used for making phone calls and giving commands to Siri. But when people ask me what it's like to own the Apple Watch, I respond with the same answer every single time. It's cool, but not necessary. Beyond the need to just own a new Apple product, the Apple Watch didn't make me feel like I had to buy this device. So I've been rocking this bad boy for about two months now, and I'm really impressed with the battery life. The Apple Watch lasts all day and then some, but I still recommend you charging it every single night. However, I have noticed significant amount of battery drain when using the workout app. This is probably due to the heart rate sensor, which is constantly monitoring your beats per minute, as well as tracking your steps. The Apple Watch features the new force touch capability that is also found on the new MacBook. For instance, a force tap will open up a second menu, giving you, the user, more options. I found that the gyroscope in that watch is pretty accurate. Every single time I bring a watch to my face, it turns on every single time with no hesitation. Pressing the digital crown will open up this cluster of applications, which I'm not really the biggest fan of because it's just kind of all over the place. However, you can organize them by going to your Apple Watch app on your iPhone. The applications on the Apple Watch tend to open pretty slowly. The reason being is that these apps aren't technically on your watch. They're being accessed through your phone. Hopefully, third-party developers will create native applications that will be stored directly on your Apple Watch. The Apple Watch allows you to customize your watch face. By using that force touch feature, press down on the watch face and scroll to the left or right and choose your favorite face. Hit customize to change some of the detail of the watch face. My two favorite faces are solar and modular. Solar lets me know the position of the sun. I mainly use this when I'm hiking with my dog so I'm not stuck on a dark trail while the sun sets. Modular gives me a lot of information right on the main screen. I can get the time, temperature, degrees, and clock, battery life, and several other features. Since owning this watch, I've been making strides towards a healthier me. The workout app is great for tracking calories burned, miles ran, or walked. If you don't see your workout option on the workout app, just choose other. This way you can track how many calories you've burned and your heart rate. Notifications come fast and they come easy. The Apple Watch features a haptic engine, also known as Linear Actuator, that will tap on your wrist whenever you receive an alert or notification. Overall, I'm still enjoying my Apple Watch. Since I'm somewhat active, it hasn't lost its appeal yet because I love keeping up with my fitness goals. However, I'm afraid that at some point, I'm no longer going to care about having a secondary computer on my wrist. It's not really an Apple issue, it's the idea that tech should be wearable. We'll have to see what the future holds.